Good evening. I'm Patrice Dayton. Welcome to News 10 on My Fox 10. Men and women who gave their lives for our safety are remembered tonight. Terre Haute City Council tonight discussed the possibility of naming streets after fallen emergency responders. News 10's Brittany Earle sat in on that meeting to find out who and where these heroes will be honored. Brittany? Patrice, here in my hand is a list of 29 firefighters, police officers, and sheriff deputies who all died in the line of duty protecting our city. Tonight's meeting discussed the purpose of why these memorial ways are important. The city council listened to Terre Haute's fire chief Jeff Fisher and assistant police chief Mark Eldred explain that specific roadways will not be renamed, but instead an honorary sign with the fallen's name will be added along the street. Brown Avenue to Wabash and Wabash to the 2400 block of North Brown Avenue was dedicated to Terre Haute Fallen Officer Brent Long as Brent Long Memorial Way. The idea is to honor every fallen emergency responder. These people, have, many of them have been forgotten about, and I think this is just a good way that, that we'll be reminded that these folks died in the line of duty for the city of Terre Haute and for the state and their nation, and this is just a good way to remember them. At the meeting, we spoke with one retired firefighter who came to show his support for the street dedications due to a personal tie. My father was killed in 1963 in the line of duty at 9th and Poplar. And uh, as my sister has told me any number of times, that when they go past that, they, they think about it. And to uh, have a street named after him or in memory of him and other firefighters, it'd be nice. It's just a way to honor the guys that uh, paid the ultimate sacrifice for uh, for the city. The city councilman council will vote on the idea of memorial ways dedicated to fallen responders next Thursday. If passed, Poplar Street from 9th to 13th will be a memorial way for O'Brien's father, as well as 29 other streets for other fallen officers and firefighters. City councilman Pat Ralston mentioned that fallen officer Brent Long was a huge advocate for the memorial ways before he died. When Long was killed in the line of duty, Terre Haute's officer, police and fire departments only felt now is the time to remember all who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Patrice, back to you. Good idea. Thank you, Brittany.